faster. This can really help doctors figure out what kind of mushroom it is. It's also super important to write down when the mushroom was eaten and the first signs of sickness, like feeling sick to your stomach, throwing up, feeling confused, sweating, and so on. And share all this information with the medical team. Head to the hospital right away, because getting help early can make a huge difference. If a pet ate the mushroom, call your vet or your country's animal poison control hotline. For example, in the US, you can reach the ASPCA Animal Poison Control Center at 8884-264435. And don't forget to bring a sample of the mushroom, safely wrapped, for them to identify. So friends, here's the golden rule to remember. When in doubt, assume all wild mushrooms are poisonous. Unless an experienced mushroom expert has identified them, better safe than sorry, right? So question number three, how do you check a mushroom to know if it's poisonous? Well, that's a very important question and honestly, not an easy one. Unfortunately, there isn't one sure visual test or trick like if animals eat it, it's safe, that can tell you for sure if a mushroom is poisonous. Many poisonous mushrooms look almost exactly like edible ones. Still, here's how experts look at mushrooms to figure out what they are, but keep in mind, this isn't for just picking them casually. So, let's dive into the steps experts use to examine mushrooms. First up, the overall shape and size. You'll want to pay attention to the cap, stem, and base. Some deadly types, like the death cap, look very ordinary, so these details really matter. Next, observe the cap and color. Check the color, the surface texture. Is it smooth, scaly, or sticky? And the shape, flat, conical, or bell-shaped. But remember, color alone isn't a reliable indicator. Many poisonous mushrooms are just brown or white, so always proceed with caution. So, let's talk about the gills you'll find on the underside of the mushroom cap. Pay attention to how the gills are attached to the stem. They can be free, attached, or even running down the stem. The color of the gills is also important, and it can be white, pink, brown, or black. And honestly, it can change as the mushroom gets older. Now, about spore prints. Just place the cap, gills down, on white and black paper overnight. The color of the spores, whether it's white, pink, brown, black, purple, or something else, is super helpful for identifying them. For example, mushrooms from the Amanita family, like the death cap, have a white spore print. When you check out the stem and base, look for a ring, which is called an annulus, or a cup-like sac at the bottom, known as a vulva. Amanita mushrooms, by the way, which include some of the most deadly mushrooms, usually have